Have you ever asked yourself, why are there seemingly endless arrays of patterns in nature? From the cow's spots, the labyrinth on pufferfish skin, to our human fingerprints and irises. And why are they so complex? To the point that finding someone who shares your fingerprint is almost impossible. Where do they come from? Is there any rhyme or reason to it? Or is it just pure randomness? Alan Turing, Morphogenesis and Evolution. Alan Turing, English codebreaker and father of computer science, came up with an explanation. He believed that mathematics can be used to describe biological systems, even human intelligence, or in this case, the patterns of life. He developed his theory, morphogenesis. Morphogenesis means the generation of form, and usually in the context of developmental biology, where it means the generation of tissue organization and shape in animal and plant embryos. Imagine two chemicals spreading out over an animal, one changing the skin pigment while the other stopping it. Using a simple equation, he showed how these two chemicals interact as they create spots, and if the reaction takes place where the embryo is very small, the pattern will come out bigger, like the splotches on cows. Morphogenesis, therefore, deals with apparently straightforward problems, such as how epithelial ducts branch in glands, how nerves migrate to and recognize their targets, how mesenchymal cells come together to form pre-muscle and pre-bone condensation, how tendons link to the appropriate bones, and how cells change their shapes, and they all happen by themselves. The beauty of Turing's work was in its abstraction and simplicity. He modeled the question generally via chemical diffusion equations and instantiated his model by considering specific arrangements of cells, like a discrete cycle and a continuous ring of tissue. He proved results that were general and qualitative in nature. On more complicated models, he also encouraged a numeric quantitative approach to be carried out on the computer he helped develop. It is these rigorous qualitative statements that have become the bread and butter of theoretical computer science. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts on the video in the comment box below and suggest the topic you want the monsters to discover next.